Hi everyone, Edie Summers here and I'm going to do some yoga this morning and it's going to be gentle yoga. Um, you may see my, my cat may make a cameo, just so you know. Um, you could grab a block if you want to. You can see I have a block here. You could grab a block or a water bottle. Um, we're going to start standing up and this is gentle yoga this morning. So go ahead and get comfortable. Um, also, I have a mat here. Um, this actually isn't a yoga mat, um, but you want something that gives you some cushioning. Um, so we can go and start in Tadasana. Bring your feet together. Just let your arms float open to either side. Find your breath here. Maybe let hands float up to heart center. Setting an intention. Getting present. Find your equal footing here. And let your arms float down to either side. Lengthen through your spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. Arms float up. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Reach down towards your toes. Forward fold. Let's stay down here. Bring your feet underneath your hips here. Knees can be soft. Maybe stay like this or hold on to opposite arms, ragdoll. You could even sway side to side. Settle back into the center. Let your hands float back down toward your mat. Let's roll up here, belly to spine. Roll up one vertebra at a time there. Now you've got your feet underneath your hips here. I'm gonna do cat and cow standing up. So again, get comfortable. I'm on my mat right now. Arms open to either side, inhale. Now exhale, bend your knees. Draw belly to spine. Imagine you're hugging a beach ball. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Hug that beach ball. Inhale, rise up. Lift through your heart. Exhale, bend your knees. Round through your back. Hug that ball. Inhale, rise up, open through your heart. Nice deep inhale and exhale, round through your back. Let's continue back down to the ground. Let your head float down. Breathe into your spine here, forward fold. You could do ragdoll again here. If you wanted to, holding onto opposite arms, Kind of feel the weight of your arms waking up your spine. Again, you can also sway side to side. Just settle in here for your practice. And then let your hands flip back down to your mat. Let's toe heel our feet so they come back together. Knees are soft, belly to spine. Roll back up. One vertebra at a time here. Let your head float up last and draw your shoulders up and down your back. Shoulders are relaxed. Palms are open. Ground through your feet here. Lengthen through your spine. Inhale, reach high to the sky mountain. Reaching high to the sky, bring your hands together. Exhale, let them travel back down toward your heart center. Find your center here. Taking a few rounds of breath. Inhale, and exhale, center here. Use your breath as an anchor. Always finding your center through your breath and awareness. Let 
your arms float up into either side. Let's do a few more sun salutations. That was kind of a modified version. We're kind of waking up here. I'm going to face to this side. So you want to be toward the top of your mat. Arms are open to either side. You're in Tadasana. Feet are together. Inhale, mount. And exhale, forward fold. Let's do a halfway lift here. So you could grab your block here. Grab your block if you want to use it. We're going to do a halfway lift. Place your block in front of you. Inhale, rise up. You could place your hands on your block or maybe your shins or upper thighs. You want weight on the front of your feet here. Take a few rounds of breath here. Inhale through the crown of your head. Exhale through the soles of your feet. Create a loop of energy here. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to head back down to the ground. Reach down, forward fold. Breathe into your spine. Maybe even give yourself a hug. Wrapping arms behind hamstrings or just deepen into your pose here. Now, bend your knees here. Place your hands on your mat. And let's step our feet back to downward dog. So, wrists are underneath shoulders. Feet are lined up with your hips. Maybe walk the dog here. Stretch through one heel. And then the other. We're doing kind of a modified version here of sun salutation. So, just bend your knees here and look forward. And just walk your feet back up to your hands. Taking your time here, traveling between poses. Maybe one more halfway lift. Inhale, rise up. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Let's roll back up one vertebra at a time. Then inhale, mountain, reach high to the sky. Bring your hands together. Exhale. Travel back down towards your heart center. Breathe here. Find your center. And arms float down to either side. Bring your feet back underneath your hips. Knees are soft. Just swing your arms side to side. Maybe even tap your lower back. A little bit of qigong. Energy yoga. Wake up your energy. Always finding your range of motion here. You don't have to tap your back. You could just swing your arms side to side. Let that energy flow free. And I'll meet you back in the center. Walk your feet back together. Bring your hands back to heart center. And then arms float up. Inhale, reach high to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Let's go back into our halfway lift here. So again, rise up. You could put your hands on your block or shins or upper thighs here. Halfway lift. Take a few rounds of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe into those corners and edges here. Inhale. And exhale. Forward fold. Just melt back down towards your mat. Let your head relax. Knees are soft. Again, toe heel your feet so they come underneath your hips. Let's try ragdoll again. Maybe holding onto opposite arms. Maybe this time finding a deeper range of motion. Sway side to side. Or you could just stay in the center and just feel the weight of your arms here, waking up your spine. And I'll meet you back in the center. Just let your hands float back down to your mat. Let's roll back up here, one vertebra at a time. Take your time here. 
Letting your head float up last. Feet are underneath your hips and then walk them back together. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, bring your hands together. Bring them back down towards your heart center. Let's try a heart opener here. I'm going to face this way so you can see me. Take an inhale. On an exhale, lift through your heart. Looking up. Over time, straighten back out through your spine and let your arms open to either side. So let's imagine we're opening a gate here. Take an inhale and on an exhale, bring left hand toward your heart. Swing your right arm open. Just find your range of motion here. Bring right hand toward your heart. Inhale. On an exhale, swing left arm open. Let's try that again. I'm going to face this way. Inhale. On your exhale, bring left hand toward your heart. Swing right arm open. Maybe swinging that gate open more. Inhale. On an exhale, hand to heart, swing your arm open to the side. And I'll meet you back in the center. Maybe shake out arms. And let's continue on. So again, have your block or your water bottle close by. Let's come to warrior, warrior two. So be at the top of your mat. Feet are together, Tadasana. You want to send your tailbone down to the ground here. Really root into the earth with your feet. Shoulders are relaxed here. Just step your right foot back. Flip your right foot open. So right arm to the back, left arm to the front. Left knee is right over your ankle here. Reach through your fingertips. And breathe. Shoulders are relaxed. Let your arms float down, palms face up. Inhale as you lift your palms up. Nice deep inhale and exhale, palms face down. Imagine you're drawing energy in as you inhale and then exhale, move excess energy out. Inhale. Nice deep inhale and exhale. And inhale, draw energy in. Exhale, move energy out. And then arms float open front to back, your warrior two. Let's try reversing our warrior. So turn your palms so they face up to the sky. Feel that rotation in your shoulders here. And take an inhale. On an exhale, your right arm floats down and left arm starts to reach toward the back of your body. You want to create space in your spine here. Breathe here. Really rooting through your right foot here. Left knee is over your ankle. You can just unwind. Back to warrior two, arms reach front to back. Let's try triangle. So you're going to straighten your left leg here. Keep a micro bend in your knee. Arms reach front to back. Inhale. On an exhale, shift forward first. And then left arm. If you want to do a mini triangle, you can just reach left arm down a little bit and right arm floats up. You could use your block or water bottle here too. So I'm going to use my block. I'm placing it in front of my left foot here again. Shifting forward first, take an inhale, and then on your exhale, you can reach down towards your block or your left foot, or maybe you're staying up higher. Always listening to your body here. To come out of this, start to bend your left knee. And flow back into warrior two. Now let's push our right foot off the back of our mat and step right foot to meet left foot. Tadasana. 
or mountain. Inhale, reach high to the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Breathe here and forward fold. Softening into your pose, rise up into a halfway lift. Lift through your heart here. Inhale here. Exhale, forward fold. Rolling up on your own time. Restack your spine here. Drawing shoulders up and down your back. Tadasana. Let's try the other side. So I'm going to head to the other side here. You can bring your block with you. Um, depending on where you're facing, you may not have to move so far. So we're here in Tadasana. This time I'm going to step my left foot back. So let's bring arms up into mountain arms here. Step your left foot back. Flip your left foot open. Right knees over ankle. Send right arm to the front and left arm to the back. Warrior two. Keep your shoulders relaxed here. Just getting nice and steady here. Reach through your fingertips. Ground through your feet and breath. Now let's reverse our warrior here. Turn your palms so they face up. Shoulder up, so keep your elbows soft. Inhale here and exhale, left arm floats down. Right arm reaches toward the back of your body. So you can look over your left shoulder. You could also look toward your right palm here. Remember to create space in your spine here. You should feel your body as you do these poses, kind of both settling down and also expanding, getting more energized, and hopefully your mind is getting more settled. Warrior two. Let's do triangle. So again, you could grab your block here. Again, I've got my block. I'm going to put it in front of my right foot. You could use a water bottle or none of the above. Sometimes in triangle, I like to get a little bit of a wider stance. You can see where you're already standing. I usually have a pretty wide stance already, but you might want to step your feet a little bit further apart. Listen to your body here. Right knee is soft. Arms open to either side. Take an inhale first. On your exhale, shift forward. Now you could just stay up here. You could stay up here. This is a variation on triangle, or maybe you are doing a mini triangle. Right arm flips down and left arm flips up. Or you could reach down further towards your block or your right foot. Imagine you're standing here between two panes of glass. Right knee is soft. Here's a bind. So many variations that you can do in any pose, really. And to come out of this, you want to bend your right knee and then float back into warrior two. Find your steadiness here. Find your purpose. And also finding your peace. Now we're gonna step left foot back to meet right. Mountain, reach high to the sky, inhale. And then bring your palms together and exhale. Bring them back to heart center. Ground here and breathe. Take a few rounds of breath. Check in here, maybe scan your body. How do you feel? Do you notice any changes or just observe? Just feel and be. Let your arms float up into either side. Maybe do some shoulder shrugs here. You could draw shoulders, roll them from front to back or even from back to front. You could also draw them up toward your ears and then down again, anything at all that feels good. Being conscious of your breath here. 
Maybe breathe with your movements. And also let yourself breathe, starting from your belly. Shrugging out stress along the way here. What feels good to your body this morning, or whatever, whatever this afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world? I'll meet you back into Dasana. Let your shoulders relax now. Palms are open to either side. Let's do tree. Let's practice our balance. So, since I don't have a yoga mat, I'm going to step off my mat so I have a little more stability. Um, it's up to you where you want to be. You can also, I've got a wall nearby you can see right here, so you could also use a chair. Um, anything at all for stability here. Um, start in Tadasana. Bring your feet underneath your hips and lengthen through your spine. Let's do the right side first. So this might look backwards to you. Or, yeah, it might look backwards to you, but um, just open your right leg to the side. Land on the ball of your right foot here. You can use your foot as a kickstand. You could do just this. This looks a little bit like Tadasana. Or maybe you continue on. You could place your foot above or below your knee here, deepening into this pose. You could even create some branches. Bring hands to heart center. Or maybe you're extending arms out or up. Be creative here in tree. Really root through your left foot here. Find a focal point, whether eyes are open or closed. Find your balance. To come out of this, you can let your leaves and branches float down. Maybe kick out your leg here. Feel free to reset your spine or anything at all. That might feel good to you. Let's do the other side. So I'll meet you back in Tadasana. You want to bring your feet together. And shift your weight to your other leg here so you're opening your left leg to the side. Land on the ball of your foot here. Find your focus here. Find your drishti. It's a single point of focus to help you balance and to help you focus. So you could stay just like this or maybe you put your foot above or below your knee here. And bring hands to heart center or maybe you extend arms open to the side or even reach up to the sky making branches sometimes I'm creative with my branches there's the wall <laughs> and you can stay in tree you can continue to practice your balance here and practicing your focus this almost feels like the beginning stages of meditation. At any point in time, let your leaves and branches start to float down and you could kick out your leg and feel free to reset your spine in any capacity or breathe and stretch. And then I'll meet you back in Tadasana. Well, let's practice a little bit more balance here. Let's try airplane. So I'm going to turn to the side here. We're still here in Tadasana. So feet are together. And again, you could use the wall for this or use a chair uh, if you want a little bit of extra stability. Uh, you're going to shift your weight to your left leg. Extend right leg back. Flex your right foot. Fly your arms back and lift through your heart. Feel that openness here. Airplane. Now let's try the other side. So step onto your right foot, shift your weight to your right leg here. Extend left leg back, flex your left foot. This keeps your hips square. Lift your heart, reach your arms back. I have a very gentle version of airplane. I'll meet you back in Tadasana. So let's head back to downward dog, and then we might head down to the ground a little bit and stretch. So Tadasana, be a little bit closer to the top of your mat here. Inhale, mountain. 
and exhale forward fold inhale rise up halfway lift nice deep inhale here and exhale forward fold just bend your knees here place your hands on your mat and step your feet back to downward dog so wrists are underneath shoulders here Feet are lined up with your hips. Maybe walk the dog here. Stretch through one heel and then the other. Really stretch through your calves here. Feel that stretch in your, in your tendons. And then you can settle back into the center and even press back through your hands and kind of, kind of spread out your fingertips here. You want to send hips high to the sky. Feel free to stay up here. Or you can drop down onto your knees and take an inhale. On an exhale, maybe bring the edges of your feet together. Knees can be open kind of in a V shape. And walk your hands out. Coming into child's pose. So you can stay like that. I'm going to show you some alternatives. Um, you could also use your block here. Sometimes I also just keep my knees lined up with my hips. Instead of creating more of a, a V shape, I'll just be more like this. So if you want to have a little bit of support, you can put your head on your block. You just want to bring your head below your heart here. And breathe here. Breathe from your belly. Let your mind settle here. Travel more into your body here. Check in here and feel. Giving yourself time to settle into the present moment. Inhale here. And exhale. Cycling that breath throughout your body. Feel free to stay here in child's pose longer or you could always come back here at any point in time. When you're ready, walk your hands up. I'll meet you in tabletop. It is just how it sounds. You're making the shape of a table here. So you want to bring your wrists underneath your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Let's do cat and cow here. So take an inhale, lift through your heart. Inhale and exhale, head floats down, round through your back. You can feel this waking up your spine even more. Inhale, look up. And exhale, head floats down, round through your back. Now feel free to continue on there, doing cat and cow. You could also swing head and hips side to side, kind of wake up your spine here and kind of stretch through your spine. Now I'm swinging head and hips over to the left. You can travel through your cat and cow along the way. Anything at all that feels good to you. Even roll through your whole spine here. Roll through your spine or anything at all. Maybe over time heading back to child's pose or just drop your head down to the ground or toward your mat. And breathe. And let's come back into tabletop and let's try downward dog one more time. Just to stretch and build a little bit of strength, which is really good too. Tuck your toes under. Take an inhale here, nice deep inhale. On an exhale, send your hips high to the sky, press back through your hands. Again, feel free to walk the dog, it feels so good. Just stretch through your heels. Each time, sometimes when you revisit poses, it's nice to do them several times. Because you're continuing to kind of wake up more, getting that circulation going, getting that inflammation down, it's your body 
you're able to stretch deeper, getting that cortisol up. And then drop back down onto your knees. Let's try child's pose one more time. So in traditional child's pose, you make a V shape. You bring the edges of your feet together, kind of like your heels. Bring your heels together and knees are open at either side. Nice deep inhale and on an exhale, reach to your fingertips, dropping your head down to the mat. So again, a lot of day, a lot of times these days, I don't do that as much. I keep my knees underneath my hips and then I just drop down into my forearms. Let my head float down. Bringing your head below your nervous system gives your nervous system a break. We definitely need more of that right now. Again, feel free to stay here in child's pose or maybe extend your arms out, press through your palms, take an inhale and just lift through your heart here. Nice deep inhale. Feel that stretch in your spine and then drop back down into child's pose or your version. Breathe into your spine there. And then maybe continue on to a ball. So you can walk your hands up so you're resting more on your forearms, walk your knees together. Maybe just kind of imagine curling up like a ball or you could do rabbit. Where knees are together, you tuck your feet, your the balls of your feet under. You could keep your hands at the side or maybe reach arms to the back or even Hold on to your heels, or just feel free to curl up in a ball. Anything at all that feels good to you. Just bringing your knees to glit together here now. Feel that deeper stretch in your spine. And then if you're in rabbit, this is rabbit where you're Toes are tucked under, maybe you're holding onto your heels, you're resting kind of on the top of your head. Come out of that, release hands from heels, untuck your toes. And walk your hands back up, passing through tabletop. And just step one knee in front and let's come to easy pose or Sukhasana. So you can just cross one leg over the other and just get comfortable here. Keeping your shoulders relaxed. If sitting cross-legged doesn't feel comfortable to you, feel free to extend legs out or you can sit up higher on a block or a blanket. Um, get comfortable. Always listen to your body. We're going to create some twists here and start to stretch a little bit more as our body continues to wake up here and our stress levels go down. Gently twisting from side to side here in easy pose. Take an inhale and on an exhale, maybe just start to look to the right. You can now even gaze, imagine gazing over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen here. On in your exhale, maybe traveling a little bit more easing a little bit more into this twist. Feel your body soften here so that you can stretch a little bit more. Always being safe. Unwind here. Take an inhale here. Nice deep inhale as you pass through the center. On your exhale, look to the left. Maybe looking over your shoulder. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Taking a few rounds of inhale here and exhale. Let your muscles relax here. Let your breath soften. Easing into this twist, unwind. We're going to do a seated forward fold. So I'm going to sit the long way on my mat. So if you want that cushioning, I like cushioning. Um, but again, see what feels good to you. I've got my feet together here more or less. My knees are soft. And you could even just stay up like this. Sometimes I'll take a block and I'll put it underneath my knees even for a little more support. You could stay up or maybe stretch forward. Take an inhale first. Inhale. On an exhale, shift forward. What I imagine lengthening through your spine here. Breathe here in the seated forward fold. Ease into the stretch. So sometimes I'll 
kind of shift from hip to hip a little. Always being conscious of imagining lengthening through your spine here. Protect your lower back. You can hold there a little bit longer or roll back up. Let's try it again. Inhale. Nice deep inhale on and exhale, shift forward. Again, finding your version of a seated forward fold. So you want to use your breath here. Make sure you're breathing. Use your breath here to imagine softening your muscles and fascia. Roll back up whenever you're ready. Again, remember sometimes I like to kind of stretch through my hips a little bit more. You can stay there or roll back up one vertebra at a time. Let's stretch our hips a little bit more. So bend your left knee here. And again, always listen to your body on this. And walk your right leg behind you. So you want to imagine keeping your hips square. So if this doesn't feel good to you, um, uh, feel free to come back to easy pose and you could just stretch forward from the easy pose. So again, just imagine keeping your hips square here. Take an inhale. You could stay upright or maybe walk your hands forward. Let your head float down. Breathe into your hip here. You can also be up higher in a block here. Breathe and relax here. And feel free to stay there longer. You can start to walk your hands up and then swing your back leg around so you're passing through um, where your legs are crossed, easy pose, and then keep your right leg in front of you, right knee is bent. Walk the left leg behind you so hips are square. Feel free to stay upright like this. Or take an inhale. And on an exhale, walk your hands forward. Again, you could also be up higher on a block. And just breathe here into your right hip. Getting comfortable. Listening to your body here. Remember to breathe. You might find that on exhales that you can travel a little bit further. So unwind that back leg here. And I'll meet you back in the center. Let's come to butterfly or baddha konasana. So just bring the soles of your feet together. You can imagine that you're creating the shape of a butterfly here. You can let your knees fall open to either side or maybe you gently press them open. Just breathe here. Feel that stretch in your inner thighs here. Maybe even stretch side to side. Inhale. On an exhale, you could stretch to one side. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, stretch to the other side. Inhale, rise up. Let's do cat and cow from here. So you can even hold on to your ankles. Again, always get comfortable. Do what's best for you. Listen to your body here. Lift to your heart here. Exhale, maybe hold on to feet. Round through your back. Inhale, rise up. Lift to your heart. And exhale, round through your back. Roll back up here. Let's try that again. 
Inhale, holding onto ankles, lift through your heart. Feel that stretch in the upper part of your spine. Now exhale, hold onto feet, round through your back. Let's hold down here. You could even let your hands travel down to your mat or the ground. Even using your elbows to press your knees open. Deepening into these poses and stretches, roll back up. Keep your left leg bent. Extend your right leg out. So you want to kind of shift your torso forward a little bit here, get centered. Knees are soft here. We're going to try a little bit of a deeper stretch. So you can place your right hand behind your right leg, or maybe you're just holding onto your leg here. Inhale here as your left arm floats up. And then exhale, walk your right hand out. Peek under your arm. arm floats down. Let's try the other side. So bring your right leg in. Bend your right leg. Extend your left leg out here. And also feel free to just stay like this. Shoulders are relaxed here. Maybe left hand is behind left leg or you're resting on left arm here. Right arm floats up. Inhale and exhale. Sh start to shift to the left side. Maybe even peeking under your arm here. And that arm floats up and down. Let's face the long way on our mat. Line up feet with your, your hips here. And hands are facing toward your feet. So you could stay just like this or maybe try a reverse tabletop. So take an inhale here on and exhale. Lift your hips. So since this is gentle yoga, I'm not going to stay up here. But you could stay up here to build strength. And lower your hips back down, extend legs out, inhale, nice deep inhale, exhale, shift forward into your forward fold, noticing how this round feels, breathing and stretching wherever you need. And then roll back up. So let's try a deeper stretch here. So always listening to your body. You can extend legs wide here. Again, if this doesn't feel comfortable to you, don't feel compelled to do this. You could grab your block here to get a little bit of, to give you support. And feel free to stay upright or maybe take an inhale. Nice deep inhale on an exhale. You can walk your hands forward or maybe rest your arms in your block. Imagine lengthening through your spine here and let's hold. So even where you feel those tight edges, try to relax. Remembering to breathe. Breathe and be here. Feeling free to stay even longer here. If that feels therapeutic to you, sometimes when we start to move and stretch and breathe, we get more naturally in touch with what our bodies need. Um, I'm going to try to stretch side to side here. Feel free to follow. Similar to what we did, but both legs are extended out now. You can use your legs as anchors here. Breathe and stretch side to side, maybe peeking under your arm. Let's try that one more time each side. Let's hold a little bit longer. Inhale. Exhale, peek under your arm. And I'm grounding and using my opposite arm for balance and support. Let's try the other side here. Shift. Inhale. Exhale, ground and peek under your arm.
Heading back to the center, let's try to stretch forward one more time. Again, feel free to use your block here, or you can also stay upright. Nice deep inhale and exhale, shifting forward. Imagine lengthening through your spine. Maybe this time, melting just a little bit further into your pose, always listening to your body. Feel free to explore while you're here. What does your body need? Finding the medicine in your pose here. I'll meet you back the long way on your mat, rising back up there. Let's come back to reverse tabletop. So bend your knees here, feet are lined up with hips, hands are facing toward your feet. Feel free to stay just like this, keep your elbows soft here. Or you can take a nice deep inhale and an exhale, lift your hips up, feel that shoulder stretch. Inhale and again, on your exhale, lowering back down, feel free to stay there. You could also do a seated forward fold or maybe you come back to butterfly and then stretch forward from here, hold in your forward fold wherever you are. Sort of finding that natural flow with your practice. Roll back up. Let's come back to butterfly if you're not already there. So again, the, your, the soles of your feet are together. Make the shape of a butterfly. Stretching. Again, doing another round here. So we're, we're really sort of helping our body, sort of getting deeper into these poses as our body continues to warm up here. And stretch deeper. Feeling that stress melt away here. Inhale and exhale, stretch side to side. Rise back up. So I'm gonna try one more seated forward fold here. Now you can even create a little bit of a back bend here if you wanna follow me, you can. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Maybe hold on to your toes. Imagine looking over your toes. I've got my knees soft here. Feel free to head or melt into your forward fold as well. Always being conscious of. Imagine lengthening through your back body. Now to come out of this this time, let's reach fingertips to the front and keep reaching as you rise up. Inhale and then exhale, arms float down. Again, let's stretch through our hips a little bit more before we head down to the ground here. So I'm bending my left knee here. Bend your right knee and walk it behind you. Again, if this doesn't feel good on your body, feel free to skip this. Hips are square here. Feel free to stay upright or take an inhale and on an exhale, shift forward. Again, you can always use your block here. Melt into this pose and breathe. On your exhales, letting go just a little bit more. Walking hands back up again. Feel free to stay there longer if you like. That can be a really therapeutic pose. Sometimes I'll have um, students stay there for like 10 minutes. Um, usually I'd want to have us warm up a little bit more, maybe more in a vinyasa practice than do that to stretch deeply. Let's switch sides. Bring right leg in front, left knees behind. Hips are square. Feel free to stay upright. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. On an exhale, maybe shifting forward, feel free to use your block. Breathe from 
your belly here. Really let yourself breathe freely. Just bringing awareness to how you're breathing. With each round of breath, maybe finding a freer flow of breath in your body. So let's walk to the top of our mat here. Have your block somewhere in the center if you want to use it. Let's come to the top of our mat. Bring your feet together. Sit up nice and tall. Wrap your hands across your shins. This is boat. This is kind of a, an easy version of boat. Feel free to go further into it. If you want, you could reach arms in front of you. Or maybe you continue even further and then rock back, flex your feet. You could hold on to shins or even extend arms out or extend legs out. Listen to your lower back here. If you want to build strength in any capacity, or you can always just do basic boat, grounding through your feet, sitting up nice and tall. Engage your core. I'll meet you back in basic boat here. Your feet are on the ground, rooted, and you're holding on to your shins here. Now wrap your hands underneath your hamstrings here. Still engaging your core, feel that core engagement. Reach arms up to the sky, inhale. And then exhale, hands back underneath hamstrings. Now start to drop your chin down towards your chest as you slowly roll down through your spine. You can even drop down into your elbows. I'll meet you on the ground in butterfly. You wanna bring the soles of your feet together here. Let your knees fall open to either side. Arms rest, palms face up at either side. Close your eyes here. Now you can stay just like this, or maybe you stack left knee on top of right, or you can even use your block here in any capacity for extra support. Your block can be underneath your bottom knee or maybe in between knees. You could use your hand as well for that to support any. Try to keep your upper back on the mat, maybe gazing up at the sky, feeling a deeper stretch in your left hip here. You could even continue on, maybe you extend left leg out. You could even extend right leg out or keep left knee bent. So you're doing a, a full supine twist. See what feels good to you here. Be creative, but listen to your body here. Let's head to the other side. So bring your knees to the center. Give, your, give yourself a hug here even. You could bring nose to knees. Take an inhale on an exhale, dropping knees to the left side. Feel free to use support in any capacity. You can be in what's called a modified supine twist here, when your knees are bent, when you're stacking one knee on top of the other. Or maybe you extend your left leg out, keep right knee bent, and kind of gently pull right leg across your body. Feel free to find a variation here. Listen to your body here as you start to relax and stretch deeper. Settle into your mat on the ground. Come back to the center and give yourself a hug. Maybe bring nose to knees or maybe you just draw knees gently toward your body here. And let's stretch, extend legs up. Maybe give yourself a hug here. And conscious of your lower back. Let's do happy baby. Knees are soft. Maybe hold on to your big toes or ankles. You could stay in the center or maybe you start to rock slightly or gently side to side. Settle into the center here. Now bring the soles of your feet together in the air. Inhale and exhale. I'll meet you back in butterfly on the ground. Now keep your right knee where, right leg where it is. Draw the left knee in toward your chest. 
and let's switch sides. Bend left knee, keep it on the ground, draw right knee in towards your chest. And extend both legs up. Maybe flex through your feet here and flex through your hands. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Coming back into happy baby. And grab onto your toes. Let your feet and knees fall outside of your hips here. Rock side to side if you like. Happy baby. Keep breathing here. You can also hold on to your ankles. Really take your time here. Settle back into the center. Bring your, your feet together in the air. Inhale and exhale, butterfly. Drop back down to the ground. Let's stretch side to side here again. So soup, modified supine twist. You stack left knee on top of right. Maybe looking up to the sky, keeping your upper back on the mat. You can also face toward your knees here. Maybe you come into full supine twist here. Extend right leg out. Right hand holds and gently pulls across the top of your left knee. You could even take an inhale. And on an exhale, turn and look over your left arm and shoulder. Breathing from your belly here always. I'll meet you in the center. Draw knees in towards your chest. Maybe bring nose to knees. Inhale. On an exhale, lower your torso down to the ground. Drop both knees to the left side. Stacking right knee on top of left. Feel free to stay just like this or you can adjust. Or maybe you head to full supine twist here where you extend your left leg out. And hold gently across the top of your right knee, maybe even turning and looking over your right arm. Doing a, a twist here, kind of rinsing out that stress here. I'll meet you back in the center. Send feet and hands up to the sky. Flex your feet and hands. Now bend your right knee, extend left leg out. Just draw right knee in toward your body here. Maybe even open it to the side, find your hip socket. And you can stay just like this or maybe you extend right leg open. I'm supporting my right leg here. You can even point and flex your foot here. So listen to your hip socket here. Breathe here. Bend your right knee, feel that stretch here. Draw right leg back to the center, extend right leg up. So you can stay on the ground here, or maybe you bring nose to knee, getting a deeper stretch. Also engaging your abdominals here. And then lower your torso back down to the ground. Feel free to continue stretching here in any capacity, or you could bend your knee here again. One final stretch, extend right leg out. Draw left leg in toward your body. I'm just gonna scoot back a little bit here. I hope you can still see me. Draw left leg in toward your body. Feel free to stay in the center like this. Or maybe you open your left leg to the side, finding your hip socket here. You could stay just like this, or you can extend left leg out. I'm gonna have to scoot over here. Really be careful of your neck. What I'm doing is not a good example there. You want to be careful of your neck. Yeah, you could extend left leg out, maybe point and flex your foot or anything at all that feels good. Feeling that stretch kind of in your inner thigh here and groin. Breathe. Really releasing that stress here. Bend your knee. Stretch here. Draw your knee back to the center. And extend left leg up. So getting a hamstring stretch here, you can, again, keep your torso on the ground or maybe you bring nose to knee. <sighs> getting a deeper stretch and then lower your torso back down to the ground. Bend your knee here. One final hug here. We're gonna do Shavasana. So you could extend both legs out, let your feet fall open. 
Just let your arms and palms fall open. I'm going to do butterfly, I think, for Shavasana. You could also do that or anything at all that makes you feel comfortable. Close your eyes here. You want to imagine that you're just melting into your mat. Let all of your worries fall away here. Focus on resting and rebooting, integrating your practice. Always feeling free to adjust if you need to. We're here in Shavasana. This is your final resting pose. Getting comfortable. Trying to stay still. Scan your body while you're here. Letting go of any final tension or stress. Relax and let go here. And feel free to stay here for as long as you like. Whenever you feel ready to come out of this, maybe start to wiggle or move your hands under feet. You could gently move fingers or maybe open fingers and close. Starting to create a deeper a little more wakeful state of consciousness here. Take your time. You can even again bend your knees and give yourself a hug. Inhale. And on an exhale, drop your knees to one side. Come into a fetal pose. You can even use your arm as a pillow here. Kind of taking your time, transitioning. And then walk your hands back here, coming back into a seated pose, getting comfortable. Maybe finding easy pose or anything at all that feels comfortable to you. Close your eyes here. Really ground into your mat here. Root into the earth. Noticing how your mind hopefully feels more settled. Find your breath here. Use it as an anchor. Use it as a focal point. Bring hands to heart center if you like. Finding that peace that comes with practicing. Knowing you can take this peace with you and carry it with you wherever you travel throughout the rest of your day, even if it's just in your home, just carrying that peace with you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have a really great rest of your day. The light in me honors and sees you. Namaste.
and feel free to continue stretching or breathing and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.